All right, well, a safe place to share black stories. One avid reader and entrepreneur has just made that dream a reality. NBC4's Dasha Phillips explains how an overwhelming response from the community brought one woman's vision to life. When I was growing up, Reading was a really huge part of how I got to understand myself. But for Asha Grant, finding books about black girls written by black women wasn't easy. There's a huge disservice that our entire community gets when there's an entire group of people who are missing from that narrative. As an adult, Grant participated in the Free Black Women's Library. I was literally lugging hundreds and hundreds of books written by black women in my car. Bringing books written by black women and sharing them in community spaces. It was through this organization she got the idea for a bookshop featuring black authors with stories created by and about black women and non-binary people. She even found the perfect spot, this empty shop in Inglewood where Asha Grant grew up. Then the pandemic hit. I was like, there's no way I can do this. Like, this is something I'm going to have to put off. Asha decided to create a GoFundMe with the goal of raising $65,000. And within one week, all of the money was raised and more. The support was electrifying, fueled in part by the Black Lives Matter movement. All of the other walls will be booked. Asha secured the store in Inglewood, naming it the Salt Eaters Bookshop after her favorite novel. Interior designer Grace Min offered her services for free. A local artist volunteered to paint a mural. I've been describing it as like a resting ground for us to just sort of like put down our things. It's not lost on Asha that this was all made possible by the help of strangers. And it is her hope when the bookshop opens in February, the authors, the books, the characters, and the space becomes familiar to everyone. We all benefit from learning and being exposed to the stories of people that don't look like us. In Inglewood, Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News.